is the only full-scale aerial target in the entire United States government inventory. It kicked off back in 2010, and really it was, it was meant to, to see whether or not we could develop a full-scale aerial target that would represent fourth-gen aircraft. The QF-16 is a F-16 aircraft that was originally retired. And then what Boeing does is we take that aircraft and we regenerate it, get it back into a flying status. And then we provide a bunch of upgrades, things like making sure that it can fly uncrewed. We put on sensor systems in order to um, uh, detect and prove how sensors and weapons perform against it. And then we deliver that to the Air Force for use as a aerial target drone. You know, the program has been 15 years in the making. Over that time, we've had to do everything from understanding a jet that we didn't originally design and build to uh, upgrading it to be uncrewed and able to fly as a target drone and then produce and deliver 127 aircraft. And now getting to see the last one fly away and know that the uh, Air Force and the rest of the services are set up for at least another five to 10 years of QF-16 operations is a great achievement. For being on the program for 14 plus years, this is pretty significant for myself. I've had the opportunity to see QF-1 through QF-127 built and delivered to the customer. Uh, it's pretty significant knowing that we've been able to provide all these targets to the United States Air Force and to other customers to include the Navy, the Marine Corps, and some foreign allies. We look forward to uh, doing sustainment work within BGS, sustaining the airplane for the next five to 10 years. It's been fun uh, being on the production side of it and now transitioning to the sustainment side so we can see this aircraft uh, into the future 2030 and beyond.